We're going to take another look at the 2024 recruiting class, and we're going to shine a spotlight on four-star running back prospect Cameron Davis, who signed with Florida State. We're going to look at his highlights. We're going to look at his 24-7 sports player profile page. Before we do all that, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're covering the 2024 recruiting class all offseason long, player by player, so you get a good idea of what your recruits look like for when they take the field for your team. We're going to start off with this 24-7 sports player profile page. If you're here for the highlights, just fast forward a few minutes. You will get there for the highlights and evaluation. But he's a four-star recruit, ranked 11th in the class, 7th in the composite. five foot 10, 200, probably a little thicker by now considering these are older. That being said, just by judging off this, we got some good size there. Already enrolled at Florida State's. 23 offers, one visit, Alabama, Arkansas, Auburn, Florida State. So we got some top-tier Power 5 programs that were after him. That's a good sign. Played in the Under Armour All-American game. So we got some all-star game experience. So experience against good competition. A high school quarterback that will play running back in college. Owns a rocked-up college-ready frame as he's over 205 pounds. So here's already over 205 pounds. Ability to string cuts together, fine green grass, is by far the biggest strength as junior tape is full of clips where he slips out of sacks, makes two or three guys or four defenders miss in the open field, naturally low center of gravity, also makes it hard for would-be tacklers to get him to the ground. We're going to see a guy with good explosiveness. We're going to see a guy who's very slippery when wet. We're going to see a guy... That can make guys miss in the open field. Should be a fun highlight tape here. Timeline, we're locked in with Florida State. We're locked in there. That being said, four-star prospect here. And over here at on three, he's a four-star down the line. On three has him ranked 12th among running backs. ESPN arrivals, top 10 guy, industry rankings, 11. Looking down here, five foot nine and a half to 10. So we're pretty rocked up. We're getting bigger as we keep looking at more weights. We went from 200 to 205. Now we're at 210. Wonder where he's at now. But judging from the listing here, judging from what I'm seeing from the neck, looks like we can put on some size. That being said, let's take a look at the highlights here. Let's see what we're working with. We have 4 minutes and 16 seconds. And this is a clip from senior year and junior year. I kind of matched them together. So let's take a look at what he's working with. You're seeing a good fluidity and movement there. Some good footwork. Keeping his eyes downfield if you want to analyze him as a quarterback. That's a good thing to see. Play's going pretty long. Here we go again. Quarterback stepping back. Slinging it. Downfield. Nice pass. Again, we're looking at him as a runner. There we go. See a low center of gravity definitely when he was lowering his... Lowering down towards the line of scrimmage. Bam. He's got a lot of burst. It's quick. Definitely tell when he was spinning out away from those defenders. We're moving. He can throw, though. He can throw, though. You know who else was a quarterback for Florida State that was a recruit? That was Cam Akers. He wasn't a quarterback for Florida State, but he was a, a quarterback, former quarterback that, that made, made the move. But look at him go. This is what we want to see. We got some speed. We got some size, too. We got some thickness. You got that burst and pop with that thickness. That's what you want. Tucks it. And we go. We go. Now we're going to take that edge. That's what you want. Because we're at 210. We got some thick legs. The weight doesn't matter to me. A lot of times the listings, once you get to college, they're, they're a lot of times off. I look at the tape when I like to look at their builds and whether or not they can add to it and then what they're looking at at current time. He's looking thick and looking good. And looking good in a way that he's thick now and can add to that frame. But man, he's explosive. He's, he's an explosive, powerful runner. He's not just quick, fast, fast. He's also explosive with power. He's got the Kyler Murray feet, but he's also got that running back build. Look at him go. Downfield. Looking good. Keeping his eyes downfield. This is a football player. 
This is a football player. He's jacked up too. You can tell. This is the same play as earlier. Here we go. We're going to take it. We're going to take it. We're going to go. Same roll. Some of these might be the same plays. Because I'm mashing tape together from all, all his different highlights. Because he did not have like a long set of highlights from like the same year. It was like two minutes here, a minute here, a minute there. And I, I just mashed them together. Look, keeping his eyes downfield. Solid. The quarterback position, you're getting some versatility there, even though you're getting some guys in the recruiting realm. Transfer portal is always hot. The versatility is always nice to have. But look at how thick he is on the lower half. Look how creative he is in the open field and chain together moves. He's got a good turn in those legs. Looking solid. Looking solid. Here we go again. Good feel. We're moving. We're going to take that edge. We're going to take that edge. Going back. Downfield. Nice throw there. Look at that window. He's got an arm on him. Here we go again. We got some pop in the step. And we're going. We're going. We're hitting it. This is the other clips. Good read downfield. He's not a bad quarterback. That being said, we got ourselves a very good running back here that has a lot of upside. I know it's tough to judge for some people. It's tough to look at when he's playing quarterback and you got to wait for those moments when he's running the ball. But looking at the traits, looking at his movement skills, he's twitched up and he's got good size on him. He's, he runs with a lot of pop, a lot of burst. He's very tenacious at contact. He's going to be tough to bring down. He's got a low center of gravity. He gets low at contact. He's got like that perfect build for a running back, especially coming out of high school. He can add a little bit to that frame because he has room for that. That's a good thing. Big, thick legs. Big, strong runner who's got some pop behind those pads. He's electric in space. He can chain together moves. You can definitely see that. Has a good feel of the momentum around him. And then he's going from the quarterback position to the running back position. That shouldn't be too hard of a transition. Considering like you got to know all steps in the backfield of how the players ran at quarterback. And then at running back, that, that that's just an easy transition for that. And then seeing the holes. We're already kind of seeing that at the quarterback position. That should be an easy transition. I'm not really worried about that. Thing about him as a runner, though, a ton of upside. A ton of upside. I can definitely see him excelling at Florida State. I can definitely see the upside there. I can definitely see him being a guy, tapping into that upside, and being a very productive runner at the college level, possibly playing on Sundays. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.